Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to be taking apart a 2080 Ti Black by EVGA um, because one of the fans broke on this during transport somewhere, so gonna need to replace this. Um, might actually be easier than I thought, so this is just a teardown guide of how to actually take this apart. I'm sure there's other teardown guides, but I eh, figured why not. I'm taking the thing apart anyway, so might as well video it. So, um, never actually taken this apart and haven't looked up a guide, but I've taken apart graphics cards before, it's not that difficult, so here's, in this case, um, considering the fan is off, um, should be a lot easier actually. Also, sorry that the phone quality isn't the best, it is because I don't have a phone stand to record. But let's see what happens if I take this off. I'm sure this is not the right way because normally this is kind of supposed to be attached, but I'm just curious what happens if I unscrew this anyways. I'll do it the proper way in a minute. Hmm, so it does do that. Okay. So in that case... Does that mean you actually do have to rip this thing off in order to... Regardless, now I need to see what the wire is. Um... So in order to do that, I'm going to have to take off the shroud, but do I need to take off the heat sink too? I'm going to guess not. So it looks like there's a screw right over there. What kind of screw is this? That's a... one of those star screws. Okay. So I'm going to guess I'm going to have to take all these little screws that are all over the card off in order for the shroud to come off. I do recommend looking up a guide before attempting something like this, but um, I've done graphics cards enough times where I know I can figure it out, and worst case scenario, I know what not to do at the very least, that way I don't break anything. Yeah, this is the right size. So it looks like this bit, which is, I don't know if you can see because my camera's pretty bad, but um, it's like a star bit type thing. So let's start with these four over here. So just FYI, if you have a graphics card where the fan breaks off for any reason, you should not run it. Um, I mean, if you're running at idle, maybe, because the heat sink, especially on something like this, is beefy enough that at idle, I don't think you'll have too much of a problem. But you shouldn't do any kind of gaming or crypto mining or anything like that on it, because of the fact that... Unless you have some kind, uh, unless you have constant airflow over it that's able to dissipate the heat, what's going to happen is that the card's going to overheat significantly and potentially get damaged. So because of that, you should never run a card with even a single fan that's broken. You should always fix the fan, and even if you intend to sell the sell the graphics card, just fix the fan anyways while you're at it because it, it should generally increase the resale value. Because if someone else has to fix it, you're, first off, it limits the market base to those who not only have the ability to, which anyone can fix something like this, it's not hard, but um, it limits it to those who have the confidence to want to take apart the graphics card and think they can fix it. Then they also have to get the part themselves. It, it just increases the market base and makes it easier to sell, so it's just generally recommended. If you have a broken fan on a card, fix it before you buy it. It's not that hard. So what I'm doing is that there's a bunch of exposed screws literally right on the card for this card. You can see them literally all over the place. I'm just going screw by screw, to, uh, taking them all, all off. Not every card will have the screws exposed like this. Some will not. You have to make sure you remove all the screws properly. And even then, when you're removing the shroud, you need to be careful because of the fact that sometimes there's a ribbon cable connecting the outer shroud to something on the inside. And if, you, uh, if you're not careful, you'll rip that, which could cause problems. So I'm going to take this off carefully now that I've removed all the screws. I don't think there's any cables attached. I'm feeling some resistance. I'm not sure if there's still some... No, so I think I got all of them. But what's ca what has it called? There we go. Okay, got it off. Don't try to force it uh, unless you really know what you're doing or if you're looking at a guide and the guide says to force it. In this case, this card is very easy to take apart, as you can see. So what looks like here is 
I see. So normally, let's say the fan is not broken. So you take off the shroud, and then you can move the fan blade a little bit, and it will expose the screw, and then you can just take it off normally. So as you can see, it's a pretty big heat sink over here. And what I'm going to do now is, so it looks like, is that a zip tie? Yeah, so it looks like a little zip tie. Where is it? Come on, it's right where? Here. Little tiny zip tie. So, forgot to get some um, some wire cutters. I happen to have a nail clipper right next to me. So that'll work. Wait, wait. I'm like looking at the camera to do it because I, I want to make sure you guys can see it. Got it. Did I get it? Yeah, I did, but it's not coming out. Um, maybe I should get some pliers or something. Because that is really stuck. Here, I have some tweezers right here. Let me try this. I have no idea where that went, but so now let's see where it goes. So it looks like it's being routed under there. Yeah, so from the looks of it, it's being routed under this fan. And I'm going to have to take off that fan too. What is that? Oh, no, so I need a regular screwdriver. So by the way, if you ever see a, vo a warranty void if sticker is removed sticker on something, it is not void if it's removed regardless of what the company says. Because at least if you live in the United States, there is a law called the Magnus and Something Warranty Act that basically states that you have, it's basically, um, it's basically right to repair to a certain degree that a company has that the burden of proof for for warranty for voiding a warranty lies on the company to prove that you did something to damage the the product and not if you're just repairing it and it's a typical repair that there's no reason to believe that your repair is what caused the damage then they are not allowed to void your warranty. So on its face, a warranty void if removed sticker actually violates this. And because of that, um, you do need to... They'll usually give you some problems, even if you bring up, oh, what you're doing is illegal, whatever. So it's best to try to remove the sticker in a way that you could put it back on without them noticing. But if needed, if it's, a, if it's, a, if it's an expensive item... Uh, and you're willing to fight over it, you can tell them what you're doing is illegal, that you could take, you can take them to small claims court, and sometimes they might give in depending on what the issue is. So, just food for thought for some of you that might not be aware of that, that if you see a warranty void, if remove sticker, 99% of the time, at least as far as I'm aware, I'm not a lawyer, but whatever, I, I read up on this stuff, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's usually considered to be not valid. I have no idea where that went. I don't think it matters too much. So now that this is out, there's another uh, zip tie. I think I'm going to need a wire cutter for this one. I'll be right back.
I found a scissor. I don't know. If you're cutting this, be careful not to cut the wires itself. Okay, let me just get an actual wire cutter. I know where one is. I just didn't want to grab this one. So it looks like there's two wires that are going here. So one of them is for this fan, and the other one is for this fan. This one is broken, and it should be. Let me just look at it myself. Yes, yeah, so you can see, hopefully, uh, depending on the quality of my camera, you can see it's just a connector you can pull apart. And just making sure there's no, yeah, nothing I need to push in, anything like that. So it should be just as simple as pulling it apart. Pulled it apart. So I don't have the new fan on hand yet to actually replace it, sadly. But um, this should be the model, I believe. So if you do need to order a fan like this, um, here's some information about it. And here's the other one. So that's just for your information, just so we can see it. So. Depending on which fan you're replacing, you're definitely going to want to um, get, if, like this one's broken in my case, so you're definitely going to want to get the one with the longer wire on eBay or wherever you're going to order a replacement fan from. Anyways, that should be it for this video. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Hope this video helps someone, and have a good one.